Hey folks, welcome to the rooftop. Trevor here. Uh, I love making beer, I love brewing beer at home, but one of the things that I don't like is the amount of water that I have to waste uh, after doing this hobby. Uh, you know, with cooling particularly and then also with cleaning, there's just a ton of water that ends up getting wasted and then dumped in the drain or, or dumped out on the ground. So what I've done is I've come up with a way to actually uh, both clean and cool the beer using uh, rainwater. I'm going to go over that with you today. I've got this 55 gallon rain barrel that has, is full of, uh, full of uh, rain water. I've collected that over the past week. I've got a, a, a container here that's about a 27 gallon container. I have filled that with rain water and then I've also added a couple of pre-frozen water bottles to bring down that temperature. The other thing I have is another container here with the other half of the rain water that's at ambient temperature, uh, about 85 degrees. And then I've got this suck pump here that I'm going to use to actually pump this through the plate chiller. The, the first time I'm going to run it through, I'm going to run it through with the ambient temperature water, which should bring the whole volume down uh, pretty uh, quite a bit lower. And the second thing I'm going to do is run it through the cold water ice bath and into the fermenter to bring that down to kitchen time. Okay, so we got our sub pump running, and this is the, the first phase, if you will, or the first container with the water at ambient temperature. It ran through, it's running through the plate chiller, and it's cooling the wort, and then the water coming off of this, I actually initially ran up into my cooler, and then I captured 10 gallons of warm water, close to hot water, in there, and then the rest of it I'm running off. All right, so now I switch the sub pump over into the ice bath, and our full volume is down to, you know, 84, 86, let's say. And then you can see here it's going into the fermenter at 70, or sorry, 62. So definitely going to be where I want for the kitchen temperature. So really happy with this process. Again, it saves a ton of water. Um, because I'm not actually using water that's coming out of the tap or the faucet. It's water that I've collected in the rain barrel. And so cleaning and cooling can all be done with water that we don't mind wasting. Hope this was helpful.